in Creole, uh, the word for good, the word for something well done is bon, similar to French. But if someone makes a mistake, you don't say mal. It's not bad. You just say pas bon. Failure is not even in the vocabulary. That's what I liked. It's just a completely different way of thinking about what life is about. I'm Paul Fallon, MIT class of 1977. I am an architect who has worked in healthcare in the United States and internationally through most of my career. I had a long history of doing social service vacations, but there had been something really different about going to Haiti. It had been an experience far out of the norm. Haiti is magical and it is full of people who are laughing and it is full of people who are happy and content. That was something that the seeds were planted my first trip there. When the earthquake happened, I just felt a need to contribute. The reason why the Haiti earthquake is a tragedy is an architectural and construction tragedy. So many people died because of the buildings. I mean, I'm an architect. I'm involved in building buildings. That's something that I felt a personal responsibility for. The first time I went to Haiti after the earthquake was actually nine months after the earthquake. And by that time, I had made connections with groups here in Massachusetts who were planning to build things. I got involved in designing an orphanage and a school, and eventually in 2012 spent half of my time there. My involvement in Haiti has really been sort of a a 2.0 level of reconstruction, where we've really been involved in making permanent structures that not only serve the community for a long period of time, but in an earthquake-resistant way, so that when the next one happens, these structures can still stand. We got involved and immediately got to know the people in the community, got to be part of the community. And so as we continued to come back month after month and build these structures, there was a lot of continuity there. I think our story is a positive one ultimately, and we need more positive stories about Haiti.